हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्निक गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल रेडवेयर लोड बैलेंसर ऑन यू एन जी सो विल सी स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ टू इंस्टॉल रेडवेयर लोड बैलेंसर इन यू एन जी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रेंड्स वी हैव टू डाउनलोड रेडवेयर लोड बैलेंसर वर्चुअल इमेज टू इंस्टॉल ऑन यू एन जी सो फ्रेंड्स आई विल लेट यू नो हाउ टू डाउनलोड रेडवेयर लोड बैलेंसर वर्चुअल इमेज ओके सो लेट सी हाउ टू डाउनलोड इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू रेडवेयर साइट हेयर नाउ फ्रेंड्स इन गूगल टाइप हेयर सपोर्ट डॉट रेडवेयर डॉट कॉम नाउ वी हैव टू नाउ क्लिक ऑन थ्री लाइन्स हेयर क्लिक हेयर एंड क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड क्लिक ऑन डाउनलोड्स नाउ यू हैव टू लॉग इन विथ योर आई डी एंड पासवर्ड हेयर ओके After login, you will get this screen. You have to select Elton application switch. Click here, and below you have to select here. You have to select here latest release version. Which version we have to download? We are want to download. So I want to download here. So I have to download for my. virtual image so i am going to select here kvm sorry i am going to select here vmware okay for vmware i am going to download 30 okay i am going to download here 13.5 this image okay so i am going to download this now click here to download click here vmware now you can see this is a upgrade image and this is a virtual image okay this is a virtual image 13.5 30.5.15 okay you have to download this click here this link to download here now you can see this is a obf file you have to download obf file here save here click here and save okay now is downloading start so i have downloaded now what i have to do now friends i have to log in to my evng cli okay now i have to log in evng cli 192 168 so now log in here root and password okay so i have to create a directory mkdir so path will be opt unit lab add on key um okay directory name will be ltion pa 13.5.15.0 okay now press enter so we have created directory let's check cd ls so you can see i have created directory successfully here okay now now we have to upload downloaded redware virtual image in this directory okay in this folder so friends with the help of filezilla ftp server we can upload it so let me upload it with filezilla i filezilla here and this is my evng ip address the evng ip address and password user id password now port 22 now click on connect okay now i have connected successfully now go to root folder so friends this is my root folder go to created directory where is created on opt unit lab add on kimu now we have created this directory elton this one okay go to and drag upload this image downloaded image to created directory now you can see is uploading now image let it upload completely 
now friends you can see i have successfully uploaded this image now let's check in cli okay cd go to this folder directory now let's check here now let's check file and you can see we have successfully uploaded this file here okay now now we have to extract this file okay now extract here tar xvf now provide the give the file name here now it will extract and will show file here okay so friend now we have a three file extracted file obf file mf file m and bmdk okay now now friends we have to convert this bmdk file into qcow2 file okay so friend, we will convert bmdk this file into qcow2 file so let's convert here now type here q u q u image convert bmdk convert to qcow2 okay now give the file name here okay now give here converted to be converted so what will happen this is bmdk will convert to qcow2 and this is my file original file bmdk okay it will convert to vertiva qcow2 okay now press enter here sorry uh, it's showing error actually so i have to add here minus zero minus f we have to type here in uh, minus zero okay click out to now press enter now press enter now it's converting here okay now check for me now check here converted or not ls so you can see we have a pipe file here now bmdk file converted to whatever okay click out to file now we have a four file obf ob obf file ova file bmdk and elton now what you have to do now friends we have to remove this file bmdk file ova file and mf file and ova file we have to remove this rm remove rm ova rm mf rm okay now ls so we have only this file here now okay you can see we have this file now we have to run fi fix permission command this command of unit lab wrapper unit wrapper fix permission now press enter here it will fix the permissions now we have successfully installed now go to evng gui and login here login now create a lab new lab redware lab okay click on save here now click on plus button to add node redware node click here click on node now we have to drag down and select here redware you can see redware load balancer elton va installed successfully now click here now you can see this is my node this is a cpu ram cpu limit okay now click on save here so you can see my redware successfully my redware is successfully installed now we can we have to add here object network bridge is here cloud select cloud here we will integrate with our management okay now 
connect with cloud our management now click on start now double click to console now you can see it's installing now now it's creating directory elton directory link up and management port system link up on management port management interface parameter updated 192.168.1.3 with dsp with my network adapter okay this is my network adapter here it's showing management IP 192.168 ping 192.168.1.3 sorry yeah 1.3 is able to ping I'm able to ping so let's try to GUI able to access HTTPS to 168 1.3 okay i'm able to access on gy click password will be admin admin okay sign in now you can see we have successfully installed redware load balancer on evng so you it's a dashboard here so it's dashboard here you can dashboard from dashboard you can watch this system view application delivery view this is application delivery view okay and you can monitor here from here let's see on monitor from monitor you can monitor it's okay service status overview other things now system general information about your switch name okay system time last date here cpu memory statics memory statics here cpu utilization capacity users maintenance okay packet capture core file technical support data here okay network network you can monitor your physical port we have a three port layer 2 hdg okay layer 3 port gateway routes so we have route here interfaces high ability okay syncretize if we have a uh, two node we can use this sync okay now in configuration from configuration we can configure here system management access we can provide management management access management port here we can define here management port dcp or manual okay we can define here because we have defined dscp so it's taken from my cloud okay as you okay so default gateway is 192.168 management protocol so users here we can configure users as an mp we can configure as an mp here version 3 version edit only rewrite logging we can configure login server syslog server here okay syslog settings we can configure from here dns time and date license bm allocations memory management now this is about system now in network we can configure your network port setting we can do port mirroring layer 2 configuration port trunking lsap from here okay now application delivery we can configure here virtual service virtual servers 
okay we'll see later how to do okay so friends in this video we have seen how to install load balancer on evng so next video next coming video we'll see how to configure it how to add server how to create virtual service on this okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day